All right, for those of you that know me, you're probably thinking this could be the shortest Hall of Fame speech in the history of the Hall of Fame, but I actually think mine is going to be longer than the guy that talks for a living. Um, I, I needed some ideas of what to speak on and who to thank, so I asked my boys. And one said I needed to tell some stories about airplanes. Another had fishing in mind. Another one thought why I like to play and what made me successful. And then the last one told me I needed to thank God. And he's absolutely right. That uh, is what I need to do. The Bible tells us in James 1.17 that all good and perfect gifts are from above. And in my four years here, in my 16 as a coach, um, I have truly been blessed by God and, and been given a gift. And I also believe the baseball team in the last few years has been blessed by God. Um, as many of you know, the athletic, uh, several of the athletic programs in uh, the athletic department have been on probation. Baseball is one of them. We have had two and a half fewer scholarships over the last four years than our normal allotment. And over that four-year time, we have won the conference twice. We have won the conference tournament twice. We've won a regional. We went to a super regional, and we were three outs away from going to the World Series. And while Coach Rodriguez and Coach Strauss are great workers and tremendous coaches, God definitely had our hand on our, on our program. And uh, I would like to thank John and Steve for being here. It, it means a lot for me for you guys to fly out here and support me. And while you guys may be wearing green and gold, you guys will always be part of the Pepperdine family. When I first arrived on this campus as a 17-year-old, as a very impressionable, one of the first persons I met was Mike Zapolsky. And Mike basically took me under his wing and uh, basically became a mentor to me. And in my early, my, my freshman year, basically made me work hard and, and encouraged me to do things the right way. And, uh, and put me on the right path. And I, I really thank you for that, Mike. Um, I probably should give even more thanks to Mike's wife, Stacy, because she's the one that set me up with my wife, Shannon. So thank you, Stacy. In my four years here, I played for two different coaches. I played three years for Dave Gorey and one year for Andy Lopez. And I was truly blessed to, to play for two such remarkable men. Um, they, they both had a lot of success on the ball field, but, but their greater successes in, in what they did with their players and preparing them for life and instilling that, that, that ethics and, and uh, character that would last a lifetime. And Coach Gorey passed away earlier this year, but to just see the outpouring of all of his old players and how much he meant to them was, was great to see that his legacy would live on. And my one story of the night is going to be about Coach Gorey, and it was actually inside this building. I was headed from the poolside going to lift weights at our weight room. For those of you that don't know, our weight room used to be over where the current training room is. The inside enclosed area was the training room, and the outside was the weight room for all of the athletes, including all 3,000 Pepperdine students. So I'm walking through the lobby, and I hear this voice from inside the gym say, Hertensteiner, do you want to come and play me at badminton? And I look over there and Coach Gorey's standing there. And I've been on campus for about a week and there is no way I'm going to turn this guy down, a, a challenge from my head coach. So I jump in here and we start our badminton match. And it's a very, very close, grueling, intense match. And it's going back and forth, back and forth. We get to 1919, and all of a sudden he, he rips off two quick points and beats me 21 19. I kind of try to get out of here as quickly as I can. But it wasn't until that night I'm lying in my bed thinking of what can I do the next time I play him when I have my rematch with Coach Gorey? How am I going to beat him? What can I do better? And then I see it from an outside perspective. I kind of saw what happened in the match, and I can see myself running to the right and making a return and running to the left and then running back, and then running forward, and running all over. And then I look over and I see Coach Gorey just standing there and just hitting the ball and not even moving. And so he had been playing with me the entire time, toying with me, basically demolished me, 
and it took me 10 hours to realize that that had happened. So after that, I decided to keep my mouth shut and work hard for, for my next four years and uh, let everything take care of itself. Uh, the last people I would really like to thank are my parents. Um, I always, you always come through and, and you, you know how much your parents do for you and um, they're there for you, they, they work hard for you and they take you to practices and, and games and my dad would throw me BP and even after a, a, a few line drives off the shin he, he never said no to me. But I don't think it's until you have children of your own that you truly realize the, the sacrificial nature of, of being a parent and, and how difficult it is. It's not easy. And, and now that I have uh, five boys of my own, it's, it's easier to see and that, that it is a, a true sacrifice. And in closing, I, I would just like to say I'm so thankful that I've been at Pepperdine for all these years and, and what a great, great place it is. The, 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 the school mission of, of preparing students for, for lives of purpose, service, and leadership, is, it's not just a blank statement, it's, it's real. And the Christian mission is real, and I, I don't know any school where you can go and, and see a, a real Christian mission uh, along with the academic excellence, and, and then you throw in nine national championships with, with a student body of under 4,000. It just can't be beat. That's why this place is so special, because of the people that are here and, and what it stands for. I'd like to thank everyone for this night, and uh, God bless. Thank you.